It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Grizzly on the Hunt with Psychic Brianna Wilson. Uh, hello. Right. How's everybody doing? Welcome, up. Sean. Let's see here. Who's all in the house? Sean. Lady Wolf. Welcome back. Yes. Hello to another edition. If you don't know who Brianna Wilson is, introduce yourself, <laughs> ma'am. Let everybody know who you are and where you are from. Well, I'm Bree. I'm an evidential and energy psychic medium. <clears throat> I use all of my class senses in all of my readings and when I connect with people. So I connect with those on the other side. Um, I also do um, card readings, which I might do a couple today if you're lucky. If there is, if there is once, I'm, I don't know, you're in charge, Bree. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am on TikTok as well. And yeah, I'm pretty transparent. So what you see is what you get. If you're not going to um, if you think you're not going to like an answer, then don't ask it. I'm very honest with my, um, you know, with my reference and how I handle everybody, but I handle it with love. Um, but yeah, so I try and keep a good reputation for psychics and mediums around the world that are actually genuine. And that is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Now, can you hear this down? Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. earlier my sound effects did not work. So, yes. So Sean is working on his man cave. It's coming along great. Lady Wolf sounds good. All right. How the, so earlier we did have some problems, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, Sean, I'm fixing up a 1970s KLH studio. Wow. Speaker wire today has some connections. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, I mean, you got to hear the grizzly. Come on now. Leona King, welcome back, everybody. Yes, glad to have you. Glad to have you. So uh, uh, Brianna is very interesting. Uh, what you ask is what you get. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, very interesting. Uh, sugar coat. Nope. She tells you like it is good evening. Whoever Facebook user is welcome to la la land. So yes, uh, everybody's saying hello to you. I'm trying to catch up with the comments. Evidently I'm behind. So <laughs> yeah. So Samantha, welcome back. Yes. So what's been going on in your neck of the woods, Brianna or Bree? What a break. Oh, Brie. Well, it's it's pretty rainy today, but it's been um weather's been pretty crazy. Like it's been hot one day, cold the next. It's just been like up and down. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've, I haven't been up to too much. I've just been dealing with my four crazy dogs and yeah, keeping them under control. And <laughs> so yeah, interesting. Hello, Esther. It, it has been wild. Uh, we have been doing a lot of things. Uh, I finally got everything set up in my studio like I wanted. Uh, yeah. You heard about my dolls, right? You know what? Yeah, my haunted dolls. That is another thing we had to talk offline. Yeah. Don't ever buy dolls at an antique store. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know creepy. I, I have had nightmares with them. But, Nicole, we got them all uh, fixed out. Hello, Nicole, for the first time. I'm live with you. Love you on the Awake Nation with Dave and Penny's. Well, welcome. Please make sure and subscribe. And uh, follow us. Yeah, man. Great to have you. Uh, Sean says hello to Crazy Witch. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Nicole, you're going to have a good time with us. I'm telling you, it's never a dull moment, especially with Bree. Uh, Denise is saying hello to everybody. Now, everybody's like, oh, why are you always reading everybody's comments? Well, we also do the audio, too. I mean, we like, are on so many different platforms on audio. I can't even keep count. Uh, thank you for all the Facebook uh, platforms, too, all the uh, admins and monitors that we uh, broadcast in. Uh, we are coast to coast and around the world, yes. So, Nicole's all excited. So, Nicole, let me ask you something. Since you are new to my uh, show, do you have a question for Bree? Would you like to know something? Well, hello, E-Rev. Uh, your third guest looks familiar. Yes, that does look familiar. Nicole, do you have a question you'd like to ask? This is a free-for-all. You can ask what you want. Uh, beware uh, what you ask for, you may get. So, hello from Louisiana, a Cajun country. Hello from northern Kentucky. I got my sweet tea. 
coffee cup here, my studio. Uh, one of the viewers had to send me this because I kept spilling my uh, sippy I cup. Remember. And I and I got my uh, American flag up for the Aussies for her uh, over there in Australia. Hello from West Virginia. Welcome. Welcome to the show. So, Nicole, you got a question. I know you got something. I feel you got something you want to know about. It's okay. I know somebody's got something. Yes, don't be afraid. Lady Wolf's looking forward to it. So, I mean, it has. It's been an interesting ride. Uh, so, I picked up a sponsor last time we talked. Uh, uh -oh. it's, been, it's been interesting. Yeah, man. It, it was like, wow. Uh, so, they have been really great to me and everything. And uh, a lot of things have been changing. Uh, uh, Liana, welcome. Oh, sweet, she says. I'm a bit nervous to ask a question, Nicole. You do not know me at all, but don't be nervous. Because <laughs> if you get nervous, I get nervous, Nicole. And we're going to get nervous together. But that's okay. Ask. Don't worry about it. Now, if you want to really get funky, we can bring you live on the show you can ask. Or you can ask out there in the audience. It's up to you. So I can send you my link and bring you on. You can show your face. Liana, welcome. Yes, catching these lives. I know, I certainly do. You know, basically, Liana, Liana they're like, why don't you just do a Monday through Friday, like a 5 to 11 o'clock show? And I'm like, you know what? It Might as well go ahead and do that. But the problem is, it's Aussie time. It's like 9 o'clock, 9.07 my time. What, what time is it over there? Uh, it's, um, 11.07. Yeah, so see, so yeah, welcome, Denise. Okay, Nicole has come to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, and she's got a question. All right, here we go. Nicole says, what do you see as far as my living situation goes? Okay, do you want cards or intuition? Because I've got, I've got a deck of cards here. Um, now, so it's up to you. I'm happy to do, I'm happy to do both. Nicole, <laughs> she says cards or intuition. Now there it's up to you. Cards or intuition. Crazy witch is like, you all gonna love this. <laughs> You're all gonna love this. Crazy witch knows all about this. GG, hi everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Facebook user. I have a visitor at work last night. His spirit can tell you who they yeah, out. Stay by Facebook user. We'll come back to you. Intuition, please, Nicole says. Intuition. Okay. <clears throat> Intuition. I feel that you're in a bit of a toxic situation um, in, your living, in your living situation, whether that be the area or whether that just be people that you have lived with or are living with. Um, I think that you are going to move soon or you're, you're going to be moving quite soon, so to speak, or there's going to be some sort of thing going on with the living arrangements there. But I do feel that wherever you've been, you're not really happy and you want to move. So I do feel that that's probably going to be in the, in the, in the cards for you, I suppose, in the next probably three to four months. But yeah, let me know if it's, if it's wrong. I'm happy to be wrong. Happy to be wrong. But yeah. Wow. Hello, Scott Pace. Welcome to the show. Yes. All right, Nicole, let us know if she's right. I'm on the seat of my pants. Yep, for sure. Yep, for sure. So, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Grizzly deals with, thank you, you're welcome, Nicole, welcome you're welcome. Down. Samantha, good day. Can you tell me the name of the spare that is always around me, please? I'm not very good with names. I'm just good with describing um, <clears throat> things, but I feel like it's a grandfather or, or, or it's definitely a, a, a person that's been, I don't know if they've had guardianship over you or they will get, or, or they wanted to or, or it was, yeah, I feel that this person needs either a granddad or a dad. But I feel like it's a granddad that was a father, if that makes sense. Um, probably up to about mid-teens of your life. And then they might have passed away from, I feel like, maybe a lung condition. But I do feel like they had weight problems as well. Let me know if that is, um, if that resonates to you. But I do feel like it is a dad or a grandfather around you. Okay. Now, Samantha, Nicole, for the ones that don't know, I only mess with the ones that are grizzly approved. What that means is, is I know beyond a reasonable doubt that these people are the true ones that have the abilities that can do things that they say they can do. So they are on a approved panel that I go to for projects and unsolved cases 
for murder, missing persons, and so forth, and projects. And I put this panel together. So they're not one of these fakes. They go out there and they just take your money and give you a bunch of BS and lolly law to shoe and and I'm going to fall in love and all that BS. But yeah. Uh, Morningstar, love the beard camp. Oh, thank you. Woo! Yes. Yes. My dad passed away from obesity and COPD. There you go. Yeah. So I'm sorry to hear that. I, I, do, I do feel that I maybe the reason, I feel like the maybe, I feel like he, he was, he aged quite badly before he passed away. And that's why I picked up on the grandfatherly figure. But I feel like he was a dad, yeah. So, yeah, definitely your dad. And I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you for the validation, though. Facebook user. I had a visitor at work last night and a spirit. Can you tell me who slapped it or who slapped over a stapler on my computer? Now, who slapped over a stapler on my computer? Now, somebody slapped a stapler on your computer? Or am I reading that wrong? It's yeah, I'm, I'm over like, a I was kind of scratching my head reading that too. I'm not, I'm not really too sure what they mean, but maybe. Did they yeah. throw a stapler? Help me uh, explain that a little more. So, I don't know why, but I, make... I don't know why, but I feel that with Facebook user here. They um, knocked I'm it not... off. They knocked it off. I feel that this person had a mother around that had a drinking problem that passed away and this could have been like her trying to get your attention. If it's not, let me know. But yeah, that's what I feel with you. If not, then it would be somebody else in the, in the audience. Now, let me ask you this. Are there signs that they're not paying attention at home and that's why it happened at work? It's like, yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's strong. Like, I mean, for spirits to manifest themselves physically, like you can see me, it's very difficult for them to do to do that. So with their energy, it, they are just energy. <clears throat> so they have to, yeah, they have to get a, fit of, a fair bit of momentum to, you know, to do that. Your mum is still living. Okay. Well, then I feel like it would be somebody that definitely had a drinking problem, either if they had worked. I'm just, I'm picking up on that. And I feel like this person used to throw things a lot. So whether that be somebody in your life that has passed away, if your mum, does your mum have dementia at all? Because sometimes when they have dementia, I, I can pick up on them in the in the spiritual realm. If not, then it would be totally for somebody else. Not always 100% right. <clears throat> There's definitely somebody trying to get your attention. No. Okay. Well, there you go. See, I can get it wrong sometimes, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, psychics are not always 100% right. I tell you that. I always say that in all of my shows and in any of my readings or whatever. So do not feel bad. Now, Lady Wolf, what or do you see around me? Um, Lady Wolf, what do you see around me? In what aspect? Like in work and in your physical life or more? Um, yeah, or both, I suppose. What or who do you see around me? Um, I've seen you were coming for you, either that or you've started a new job, but I feel that you've made a decision recently that isn't exactly, well, you're having second, you're having second questions about it or second, second guesses about it. Um, but yeah, I feel that you have, are coming to, or have just made a decision that you're a little bit, you know, you're having a bit of, yeah, second, second question about it, like people. Okay. All right. Next up on the board, Denise. Anything for me, Brianna? Intuition, please, and thank you. Denise, anything for me? Do you feel anything? Do you see anything? I feel that with you, Denise, I, don't, I, I feel that you need to eat more fruit. I'm just seeing apples. I'm, I'm just seeing like either that or you're eating a lot of fruit, but I'm, I'm seeing fruit. You need to start eating a bit better. I feel that it's – I feel like you're like me in a little bit of a way where you don't really trust what – you know, what, what food production there is around here because of what the government's doing and everything like that. So I'm just, yeah, when you eat your fruit, save your seeds. That's what I'm being told to tell you. Save your seeds because they're taking them away. That is very interesting. Yeah. Liana, you love cats in these lives. I know you certainly do. Oh, that's sweet. Lori Wade, 
I'm asking my girl, who is this cardinal hanging around? Cardinal, what's a cardinal? So a cardinal in the United States is a red bird, like uh, the Louisville Cardinals is like a team. It's uh, uh, over here in America. It's a sign that is a loved one that usually comes back and says hello. That's what we recognize over here in America. So it, that that's a symbol for us. That's what we recognize. So yes. uh, I don't know what, why am I being washed down? I'll turn that light off. Uh, but that's what we recognize as uh, uh, a loved one coming by or a love, a, a sign of love. So, yes. I see a child coming through, whether it might be someone that you might have lost as a, like through miscarriage or like um, for you, Laurie. Like, I feel like it's definitely a little boy hanging around. Um, I'm seeing this little baby holding a blanket. He's in a blue, like blue overalls or like blue shorts and a white shirt. If this, if this resonates with you at all, let me know if you can. Uh, Sean says as a songbird, uh, I guess you can say that. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the red bird. Yes. So true. I was told to eat more fruit than he says. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I know I passed somebody. Crazy witch. I'll be the oddball one and ask what the cards may say for me about anything overall. If you do not mind, please. Crazy Witch, you are the oddball like me. So, yes, let the car shake, rattle, and roll. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the card says for Crazy Witch. Okay, so uh -huh. Crazy Witch. I'll pull, I'll pull, I'll pull, I'll pull, I'll You know what's interesting? She even knew who you were. And not a she. Unlike me. Yeah. Your yard is filling up with cardinals, love, and spirits are visiting. Yes, I do believe in that. Absolutely. All right. So, I've got the hanging man for the first card. So, the hangman shows that you need to start putting boundaries down with people around you because I feel that you're going to invite people into your life that aren't exactly good for you, dangerous for you. Um, stop, stop trying to be a mum to everybody because you don't need to be like that. Do you know what I mean? You need to take care of you. You need to take care of your kids if you do have any. Um, and if you don't, then you certainly need to take care of you. Um, the person that is that, that I'm talking about who you're holding yourself uncomfortably for is talking shit about you, okay? That's the only thing that I can say. I do feel that this person's pretending to be a loved one, somebody pretending to be, you know, um, in a romantic interest of you. But I do feel like you need to bring your head down from the clouds a little bit. I say this with love and respect, okay, because he's not your companion. That's what I've got for you, darling. Hope right, that helps. Yeah, uh, crazy witch. Is uh, does that make any sense? Is that a hundred percent right? So, oh, okay, Denise. Me too, Lady Wolf. I see cardinals all the time. That does that. Hey, that does resonate with me. So I know, Gigi. Uh, is there anything you see for me, please? I love to ask. GG. So do you see anything for me, Brian? I also feel you're getting a dog soon or you have been thinking about getting a dog or a pet or some sort of companion for some reason. I don't know why, but I feel like you can contemplating even getting maybe a bird or you have been, but even if you haven't, I do feel like it's going to just appear. This, this pet will just appear. So it could just be like a kitten or it could be a puppy. It could be something you could wake up tomorrow morning and decide you want to go under the shelter and adopt something. It could be something you could find on your front doorstep. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, there's going to be this new, your dog's right next to you now. Okay, well, I feel like there is going to be a new a new companion coming through. And I'm not too sure why. Um, but, yeah, your dog's going to have to get used to having a second little friend around. <laughs> I'm not too sure what that would be, but, yeah. Uh -oh. All right, Sean. All right. He is asking, pull out the deck of cards for Sean. All right. If you don't mind, yeah. Yeah, Sean, you're awful brave. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever seen Sean to interact with any of my psychics. Well, not my psychics, but with the psychics. How's that? That makes me feel like I have slaves. I do not. Absolutely, Lady Wolf. Absolutely. You know I adore you. I adore all of my people that come to my show. 
GG, you're welcome anytime. Hot dogs, uh, you got JG. GG, what you kind of dogs do you have next to you? What kind of dogs got, do you have? I've got three huskies and a staffy. My backyard is destroyed. Now, now don't ask me what a stuffy is because I have no idea. I did not say you as a psycho, not a psychic, but they say. Um, I'm psychic. I'm both, I guess. Hell, I don't know what I am sometimes. A long hair chihuahua. Oh, my oh gosh. My I used to have a long hair chihuahua. She was not that. very sweet. She <laughs> bit the hell out of me. All right. Uh, All right, Sean. Here uh, we go. Okay, I don't know why. I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna pull the cards in a second, but I do feel like you've just started coming into contact with a female or started talking to a female that's, a little bit toxic i would really recommend at least you know don't take don't if you are say hypothetically you are and what i'm saying is correct just listen to what i'm saying and just observe her uh her behavior observe what she's saying because i feel that this person is a bit of a liar but i'll um yeah i'll pull it out and see what they say first card that came out is the nine of the nine of swords here which does actually there's someone toxic around you and i feel this very much could be someone that you've just started talking to if it's not somebody that you're if it's not a romantic interest, then it's definitely um, then it's definitely a yeah, a new friend that you've been talking to. Next card you got here is the Page of Pentacles. All right, so I feel that you're going to be sitting here umming and ahhing because you just said mm, on who this person could be. No, not romantic. Okay, well, yeah, I don't feel that they see it like that, but yeah, you might need to make your uh, your your intentions clear because yeah intuitively i feel that you know who this person is you need to start using your intuition you're starting to um you know see the red flags i think but it's yeah something that you need to address all right this is going to be a lesson for you because i feel this person really kind of you've given this information you've given this person information too soon that you shouldn't have if that makes sense all right so yeah I do feel that it, in the in the midst of all of that, you were just leaving a lot of shit behind and moving on to something else and moving forward. Um, but yeah, I feel that this all can be with these. But this person is yeah, someone that you trusted and you shouldn't have. Okay, again here with two of Pentacles here, I feel that this person also might might drain you out of money in some ways. I don't know. I don't know how, but I do feel that there is going to be a bit of a way where you're going to be holding yourself in an uncomfortable position, and they're going to be taking taking from you in a way even if it's not money it'll be your time your energy etc all right and then you've got here the justice card so the justice card in reverse this person has done you wrong all right it is that this person's doing you wrong okay so yeah they're not very good at communicating either and they're quite manipulative so that's what i do see for you i'm so sorry to say that <laughs> but yeah i hope that helps mm. just Buyer beware, Sean. That's the only thing I can tell you. Just put up your fence. Yes, it is interesting. Now, Facebook user, what would you like to know about yourself? What What are you asking? So, what does she see with you? What What are you asking? Or is it is it about something near you? Is it about Past love lives? Is it past loved ones? What is it? I got to know. Because that's very general. And, you know, she has to focus on one thing. Uh, when we work on cases uh, and they require a picture, I have to send a picture of a person, not a family of people. Because she can pick up on multiple things. Crazy witch. Nah, I'm really a loner type person. Don't really like to hang around with other people. Uh, think about that. I, uh, I take it a little different way. No offense, whatever, though. Still love you. Hmm. I don't know. Mm, I understand I crazy. <laughs> yeah. Same crazy witch. You know, a lot of things I can say this. I think the same way when I, you know, used to people tell me things. I get calls in the middle of the night and be like, Grizzly! And I'm like, you're nuts. And a week later, it happens. I'm telling you. It mm -hmm. doesn't resonate now. It will. It's fine. Uh, Sean, uh, I'm happy just doing some stuff around the yard and making the place better. Nothing wrong with that. 
Facebook user. Uh, I lead a term life warner if I'll get to see the Bigfoot baby. So you want to know if you're going to have a Bigfoot encounter. Well, that's very interesting. So, what's the odds of this person having a chance to see a Bigfoot? Hey, Summer, what's going on? Welcome back. Long time no see. Thank God it is Friday. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't feel you will, though. Now, Facebook Sorry, user, right. I will tell you this. You may not believe it, but Bigfoot can cloak themselves. I've actually seen it on video. And if you don't believe me, come to my show Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. We're going to show the video of Bigfoot cloaking. Yes, it has been captured. It looks like a Predator movie, and it's not CGI, whatever. Yes, I'm telling you. I flipped out when I saw it. I knew it. I did believe it before it was actually even captured, but that's another story. Hello, Grizz. Hello, Crazy Witch. Crazy Witch, can she see a lot further down the line, you know? Yes, she can. Uh, she can reach deep in your past. Uh, a lot of psychics, before they can do things or do see things in the future, um, get into your head. A lot of them always ask permission and do other things. Yeah. Hi, Terry. Welcome to the show. Nicole, welcome. So interesting. Uh, Liana, sorry, just realize. Let me click on your question or your your comment it's moving so fast liana uh sorry just realized the question needed to be about me whoops can you tell me about a past life i had i love to know whether or not i had a past life of this planet thank you well I hope if i click on it there we go uh, i feel that with you you were very much someone that loved mermaids um and fairies i think that there's a lot of well you know the uh serious b planet series b i feel that you could be very much from there um they have all sorts it, it's it's a water planet with all sorts of creatures there so i do believe that you've had other life like other things off this life i i feel that your soul could be very used new to earth so to speak so samantha yes everybody does have abilities and uh brie can tell you you are born with them it's how you use them ain't that right brie yep yeah i'm actually a mentor in psychic development spiritual awakening so if you need any help i can do one-on-one -on -one mentoring being able to um, you know, heighten your abilities and how to get used to them and how to utilize them. So, Denise, what does cloaking mean? Have you ever seen the movie Predator? That is what I'm talking about, Denise. Yes, Bigfoot does that. I got proof. I'm not joking. Back from 2014, 2015, the lady caught it. She didn't know what the hell was going on. That's a different show. I'm showing it. I showed the video. She gave me the video. Yes, it happened. Crazy witch. She could be reading my past. That's certainly true then. Yes, that, that does happen. Morning star. I'd be reading, yeah. I'd be reading what's either down the line or or something that's about to happen, but I feel that you have been in contact with people that are no good. People that have been the in jail. Star. Or, yeah. What's the popular opinion about the inner humanity? What do y'all think it's going to get us eventually? Now, I can take that in different directions. I can take that biblically. I can take that spiritually. I can take that in the reverend way. But, or I can take that in the vibration way. Or we can take that in Bree's way. Which way would you like to go? I think they want to know Bree's way, though. I believe, <laughs> well, it depends, it depends on the way, like, I mean, if, if, the light beats the dark, then then it's not going to be the end of humanity. But if the, the elites stay in power, then we're fucked. We're fucked. We are totally fucked. If they don't, which I don't believe they will, I think that I think I think things are going to get overthrown. I think things are going to get overthrown, and I think that there's going to be a new way of living coming with money. I feel that there's I feel like this is just the end of humanity's way as we know it. Meaning, there's going to be a new way of living. There's going to be a new. Um, a whole new way of life. Do you know what I mean? We are slaves at the moment. We are slaves. And at the moment, humanity is at threat of being wiped out, all especially all the European people, um, because they are free thinkers. 
So they want people that comply. They want people that, you know, that, uh, you know, abide by the rules. So I think that it depends on the way humanity goes, but I feel that it's going to be okay. I have faith that it's going to be okay um, because there's already a judge that's, he's the judge of judges. So he's the global judge. Um, and he's been put in power by, I think, um, or there's something to do with Donald Trump, but he's actually going around now and people are being arrested for their, for their thing. So. All right, Sean. So let me bring you to reality here. So you have not seen some of my past shows. And of course, the moment I look for my picture is the moment I am unable to locate it. And I'll be shucks if I can't. And hopefully the camera cannot see my phone. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, woo. <sighs> so now let me look one more time for this picture and see if I can find this picture. And I will tell you a story. And it is a true story because Crazy Witch and some other people can validate it. And, of course, I cannot. And why is that, that I can never find something when Grizzly wants to find it? So, I did a, oh, I got it. All right, I got the picture. Now, all right, Sean. So, while you are thinking about your lady woman that may try to, however you may think, to manipulate you, that is a possibility. But I believe in free will. Now. Just because somebody tells you what may happen does not mean it can happen, all right? You know, you can take control of your future, and you can alter it. That is my belief. Now, with that being said, that sometimes there is things in your future that is your fate, and you cannot alter it. Now, think about that. Okay, now here's how this story goes. Before Grizzly moved, he was interviewing people to see if he can come across fake psychics and people with fake abilities. Well, he, he couldn't find one. During the course of one interview, this psychic was like, you're going to move, and you're going to move here, and you're going to move back here, and all this other stuff. And, and when you move here, you're going to sit up here, and you're going to meet this girl after so many months. I mean, to the month, and this is what she's going to look like, and all this other stuff. And blah, 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 blah. And I laugh. And she's, by the way, she's like, you're, you're fixing pictures in your, in your place right now. They're crooked. And they're falling off your wall. And I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, yeah, that, that's your grandfather. And I'm like, okay. I blew it off. And on the way out of the interview that she's given, she's like, by the way, you have to go see a dentist. Bye. And she got off the video. And I was like, what? Well, I got good teeth. I'm not going to go see no dentist. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Everything that she said came to pass. I moved when she said I was going to move. I went to move where she said I was going to move. I set up exactly the location where she said I was going to move. Sean, are you paying attention? I was sucking on a piece of Red Hot, Sean. And this thing would not go away. And I was like, what in the hell's wrong? So I spit it out. And of course, oh, my phone's turned off. Hold on. Let me turn it back on. And that, that, so, yeah, I'm just yeah, going to go to course. the <laughs> Yeah, you go ahead and do your thing while I go find my picture again. So as I spit this piece of red hot candy out, which I just lost the picture, on it. I hate when things never go right. So anyway, so this piece of candy would not go away. So I spit it out. And when I spit it out, I was like, you got to be joking. I was like, there ain't no way in hell it just, just happened. And I'm like, all right. Now, I'm not going to touch the screen. Look at that. That is a piece of my tooth. So what did I do? I go over. I pick up the phone. Sean. I called that psychic, and that psychic answered. I'm like, Grizzly, I know why you're calling. You're going to have to go see the dentist in the morning. I'm like, you cracked me up. Well, guess what? When that time came around, this girl came out of nowhere. Yes, this girl met the description. 
I didn't believe it. I, I went with it. Make a long story short, I cheated. I took the picture and I submitted it to the border psychics. It's like, hey, is this the girl? Let me know. Is this the one? Well, I got some information back and it was kind of vague. Lo and behold, I got a message and it was vague. And I got a message a couple weeks later. I'm like, hey, did it work out between you two? And I'm like, nah, I kind of fizzled out. I'm, I'm too busy. Yeah, Samantha, it was something, I'm telling you. So, but anyways, make a long story short, the girl that I was supposed to meet, knew I was supposed to meet, was on the board. She she saw the reading and the interview and knew it was her the whole entire time. She didn't believe it. She did the cards on herself four or five times. And every time she did the cards, it kept coming up. It was her. So, yes, yeah, so we were talking to this day and we're still seeing each other. So, yes, fate does happen. And I do believe in psychics. There you go, Sean. Yes, and I am scared of AI. Morning Star. I have my own opinion, which are cosmic or something in the heavens that cause things to change here. I do believe in that. Absolutely. Sean, the U.S. is being run by unelected traitors in the White House. Don't get me started on that. I will never get off that subject. Nicole, what can I do to help humanity? Be nice. Pay it forward. Reset to 2040. I hate to see what that would look like, to be honest. Sorry. Sorry, Nicole, Nicole, what you could do, follow me on TikTok. If you've got TikTok, it's psychic medium underscore breed 1212. Um, I, I talk about everything like this sort of thing. So, yeah, just anything that I share, even look it up and just get the information out there. Make well, people you got a there. Facebook page too, don't you? Yeah, but it's since it's been, well, I, it's not really active at the moment because the other one that I had got hacked. So, yeah. What TikTok about your Facebook group? Facebook group? Don't Facebook you got a group. Facebook group? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, probably TikTok would be the best one because, yeah, I don't really use Facebook. Well, we need to shut it down then. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. John, understood. Yeah, you catch my drift? Yeah. It's Terry the Phoenix. Yeah, crash and burn, baby. That's right. You rise from the ashes. Morning star. I agree that we can change our stars through changing our palmistry. I kind of believe that, yeah. I think we set our own fate sometimes. Sometimes fate is set for ourselves. John says yes. Crazy Witch says yeah. Crazy Witch says it happens all the time. Denise, I believe we all should be service to others to be better. You know what, Denise? If we all did that, I think we'd be all be better off. The tooth came out. Yeah, well, I didn't know uh, it was a crown. I was royalty, Sean. So, yes, I had it recrowned. Well, dang, yeah. Nicole, woohoo! Yeah, how do you think I felt? Uh, she actually did a show with me. Uh, she was on the last show. That was her. And she is a psychic, so I have to behave because she can read minds. Yeah. Uh, was that Kat? No, Kat is on my psychic board, too, along with Brianna. Sean, great story. Scary, true. No, it is. We had to go on national uh, shows and talk about our love story. Yes, it was wild. Liana. Uh, Kabul MK Ultra Secret Space Program. Any insights to those? It did, it does, it has, it will, and it always is going to happen. Yes, there's things happening right now that are going on that we don't know about. It's a fact. I have psychics that work for the government, the DIA, FBI, CIA, that used to remote view on the Soviet Union during the Cold War. So, yes, it does happen. Absolutely. What's your take about that, Brianna? I don't know much about the Secret Space Program. Facebook is so bad now. Yeah. It is. I used to get kicked off there all the time. That's why I got backup accounts. Uh, Morningstar. Let me get your comment up here. The effect of spinning up or spin and shortening the day and night also makes Draco appear to take one-third of stars and zodiac. The earth as we watch it fall below horizon you may visible see it moving now let's test morning stars i don't want to say intelligence because that's being disrespectful let's just test something here morning star how many hours are in the day answer me that now that is a simple question 
this morning star how many hours are in the day terry barker i like your videos oh do you like grizzlies or you like breeze there's a difference <laughs> i like them both uh which psychic predicted Sonia? Uh, Kelly Joe and Carol Ann. Yes. Uh, Kelly Joe is the one that predicted uh, uh, Sonia. Carol Ann predicted uh, Sonia too. Carol Ann got very graphic with Sonia. Uh, Carol Ann got uh, very detailed with Sonia and uh, told me what uh, we both needed to do. Yes, that uh, you have to go back and watch that show. Absolutely. Morning Star, how many hours in the day? Terry Barker, like your videos. Thank you. Uh, okay, Samantha. Yeah, very interesting. So what do you what's your take on the world though as a whole, Bree? Isn't it crazy what's going on? I mean, what's going on in your world in Australia? Um well I know that there was a rally, not a rally, but like a protest because there was um gonna be this uh, ticketed show for drag drag queens reading to kids. So there yeah. was a protest up at Melbourne for that. <laughs> um, and look, I got nothing against drag queens whatsoever, but just leave the kids out of it. That's all. That's all. That's all they're trying to say. And like, that's kind of where my world's been on TikTok too. Like, it's just kind of been like getting all that information out there and just kind of getting the word out there with what's going on. People are not really wanting to believe it still, which is a bit unbelievable, but. And they weren't meant to realize it, I guess. That's kind of literally been what's consuming my day. <laughs> here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Here, here's, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And here's the way I look at it. I don't give two flying hoots what you do. I don't give two flying hoots what you are or what you think you are or whatever you want to be. I, it doesn't matter to Grizzly. Okay? Yeah. Number one, you do not have to answer to me. I don't, don't have to answer you. You don't pay my bills. I don't pay your bills. All right? But do not force anything you do on people anybody else just let it be that's the only thing i that's the only thing i am mm. other than that have fun all right that's it i don't think that's too much to ask all oh, grizz is being racist now no i'm not being racist i'm not on that i didn't say that so i mean do you not agree with that Bree? yeah 100 percent. 100 percent I do. Yeah. So, yes. Now, yeah. back to Morningstar. So, if you take, and I maybe, maybe I asked this wrong, because I should have said Earth Hour. So, I'll give you credit for this. There's actually 23.74 or 23.73 hours in a day, not 24, okay? Not 24 hours. Man said 24 hours so they can have a clock in night and day. So that's why they came up with 24. So the actual rotation of Earth is 23 point whatever. You have to Google it. Somebody, Sean, where's my fact checker? Somebody out there checking. So, yeah. Thank you, Nicole. I'm glad you completely agree with me. But yeah, so it's not actually 24 hours, Morningstar. That's man-made. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. So, but yeah. Absolutely interesting i completely agree too crazy witch our ancient ancestors were even more accurate than we were and are well i, I totally agree with that i'm glad i don't live in australia it's too damn hot so i couldn't handle it morning star the 24 elders that fell down and worship are metaphorical for the 24 hours of the day hmm that stumped me 
Never heard of that. Summer Avalon. Uh, I've been a healer, yes, for 10 years. Since then, a major shift coming, we'll be doing something new. Yeah, you know what? That is actually true. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have been feeling a shift in energy. I have been. Have you been feeling a shift in energy, Bree? Yep, I definitely have. Now, for some reason, I don't see auras anymore. So I don't understand. So, 23.56. Thank you, Samantha. I knew somebody would check me on that. That is correct. I don't know where I came up with 23.73. That didn't make any sense. But yes, 23.56. Thank you. So, yes. Thank you. I love my fact checkers. I do. I got a new fact checker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Nicole. There, yeah, something's going on. I have no idea who it is. You know, Joe Biden's granddaughter came out and said, uh, my granddaughter died and uh, or my grandfather died and that's his brother wearing a mask. Yeah, that video's out there circulating. Have you seen that, Bree? Yeah, yeah. I actually did one of the videos on that. I did a video on it. <laughs> did you really? That is like freaky. Uh, yeah. The book of Revelations uh, is written through the lens of astrology. Jesus is also revealed as a Virgo. Uh, Grizzly, she is pretty. <laughs> Thank there, you. Well, there you go, uh, Bree. <laughs> yeah. Nicole, a uh, great uncle. Uh, okay, right, right on, Nicole. Uh, nobody calls me pretty. I'm jealous. All right. John, seen yeah, Joe Biden scratch exactly. the back of his neck. And, yeah, I have too. I have too. I seen him scratch the back of his neck and, and the damn mask move. Yeah. Now, you can't tell me that CZI or yeah. CVI or whatever. Yeah. That is I, was on, I, I was on TikTok. I was on TikTok and I did a video about that and someone was like, oh, it, it said this and that and the other. And I'm like, what about, like, because I even go, like, I even ch checked it on Google and people were trying to say it was the deception of light or some shit. And I'm like, that's not deception of light. You foolish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. You know what? We have been lied to so much in America. I don't even know what the truth is anymore. Hell, I'm surprised the FBI didn't show up on my door the other day from last week's show when I hung up on them. So, yes, it is crazy, Sean. Uh, she said it was her great uncle. Really? Is that what it was, her great uncle? I thought it was her. Yeah, yeah that was her great uncle. It was her grandfather's brother, which, would, would, which yeah, would be her great uncle. That is right. It is crazy, Sean. Mass deception. And we're going along with it. That's how ignorant we are. Yeah, I mean, what I don't know. And you start getting grizzly into politics, man, you're going to see my channels being knocked off all the air. Despite our friction, did I open my dialogue with the compliment regarding the beer? Yes, you did, Morning Star. Thank you. Yes, you did. Thank you. Uh, crazy Witch. We prove that people from all different backgrounds can come together for the good. Yes, I do believe in that. Why do you think I broadcast worldwide? Why do you think I have people across the world on my shows? From Greece, from Australia, from UK, London. They land down under and everything. It's freaking nuts, Nicole. Tell me about it. Nicole, you want to do a show on politics? We'll get kicked off YouTube. Come on. Hey, I'm brave enough. I'm on other shows or other broadcasts or platforms. Brianna knows. Sean, what does Brianna know? She knows something because when she covers that mouth, I know she knows. So what are you? So what's what's going on, Brianna? No, me. nothing. I'm just. I just heard. No, I just heard my son giggling out there. I wasn't sure what was going on, so I was just trying to listen in. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I no. expect she's going to miss it after last week. I did too, Samantha. Hey man, Samantha. Every time I drove, I didn't go home. I knew they already knew where I lived. But I was making sure I wasn't being followed. Yeah, I know. Don't do it, John. Yeah, don't do it. Nicole, I enjoy listening to your perspective for sure. I love it. Well, you know, I, I like telling the truth. I always say it's live, it's raw, and it's uncut. I don't go back and edit anything. You know, what, what you see is what you get. I don't go back and edit out the ums and oohs and the people I don't like saying stuff. I don't do that. Don't believe in it. So what's up with the politics and the crap, Sean? I don't know. Somebody brought it up and they got me fired. Say it, Brianna. Lady Wolf says it. Say it. You want to say something. 
There's nothing on this uh, thing. There's nothing to say. I'll say it. That should be on Rumble exclusive, Grizz. Laugh out loud. I am on Rumble right now. We are broadcasting on Rumble. So Morningstar, I got a side bet regarding the presence of a pandemic just in time for every election. You know what's weird? Wasn't that pandemic predicted before the pandemic came out, Green? I think everything with the pandemic, I think everything with the vaccination, I think everything is just a load of shit. That's my opinion. That is totally my opinion. When it comes to pandemics, and to my opinion, they're pandemics. I think it's all like COVID to me was a test. That was a test to see how compliant we would be. So. And now they want to yeah. give us chips so we don't have to no, use money anymore. No, they can get fucked. I'm <laughs> not ever going to get a vaccination. I'm never going to get one of those damn microchips. If I've got to learn to hunt and live off the grid, then I'm going to do just that. I'm not I'm not complying at all. No one should. No one should. Oh, if boy. we have any hope of saving if we have any hope of saving this earth and humanity, we need to stand up and not fucking comply. Vaccination, people need to stop getting the vaccination. Stop getting the boosters. Well, the best vaccine. A lot of Please. yeses. You're getting a lot I, of yeses. I got I got COVID last year and I nearly died. Because I was so deficient in vitamin D, selenium, zinc. If you've got selenium and zinc in your li- in your cells, what happens with COVID and any any virus when it replicates is it gets inside your cells and it copies itself like a photocopier, and and then it spreads. If you've got selenium and zinc in your in your cells, it will not be able to replicate and it won't be able to spread. So that's the only thing that you need to know when it comes to immun- um, when it comes to immunity. I've caught COVID once. I have not caught it since. Touch wood, um, and I haven't be- I haven't been sick in a year and a half. No vaccination at all. And I feel that the people are, I don't know what, but call me a conspiracy theorist, but whatever's in those vaccinations and those fucking 5G towers, they've got something to do with each other. So, yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah, has has anybody done the test where they took our cell phones and put the steel wool around it and made a phone call and see if it actually catches on fire? I've never done that. I always wanted to try that. They show it on uh, TikTok and stuff. Have you seen that video, Brian? Yeah, the flu shot. No, I haven't. But um, when I come, Becky, yeah, no, when it comes to being sick, yes, it's because, you, okay, I'm going to tell you something. And so please forgive me if this gets us into any trouble, but, I, you know, I'm just going to say it. With the vaccinations, do you know why they make you do it eight weeks apart? It's because with your with your white blood cell count, right, they, like, there's 15, I don't know the entire mix up of it, but they, they do it three times before the boosters so that it, it, it cuts down all of your, um, your white blood cell count, your entire immunity, right? Not only that too, but it has the ribbon of AIDS on the cells and HIV as well. You, you've got there, there's like thousands of different viruses put into these vaccinations, right? So they're trying to get your immunity down. People that have had all these vaccinations are getting sick all the time, unless you're lucky enough to have placebo based on where you're living. So that's that's entirely my opinion. Um, but yeah, when it comes to that vaccination, it's so that you, every eight weeks it cuts down your white blood cell count. And then you've got less likely chance of fighting it. And the only way that you can survive is actually be reliant on the booster shots. Hmm. If you want to survive, like I've got, this is why I need to follow my TikTok. I've got plenty, yeah, rewriting human genetics. It's exactly what it is. If they've changed the name to gene therapy from the, like, to the vaccination to gene therapy, it is sterilizing people as well. You need to, this is why I was saying, make sure that you keep your seeds because they're taking seeds out of all the fruits and everything like that so that we can't, you know, grow our own shit. It's really, really bad. Like people need to make people know. People need to stand up. The only reason that people like people will be like, okay, well, it's not going to make any difference if I do it. Yes, it will. Because if everybody has their mentality, no one's going to do a damn thing. So... There's a couple of hundred world leaders that, that we're up against, and there's 7.5 billion of us. And we're all guinea pigs and mice, ladies and gentlemen. I can't keep up with the comments. I'm trying. So, everybody's agreeing. On point. Yes. Yes. So, I told you she's the non BSer. I mean, you ought to see your yeah. TikTok. Yeah, like I talk about the things that you shouldn't. Um, is it the population? Con- yes, it's population control. They are doing it to wipe us all out because what they want to do, because people are becoming free thinkers, they're starting to go, no, this isn't right. They don't want people to do that. They want people that are going to comply and people that work. We don't have to work. 
we should not have to be working. We're not like we are indirect slaves. Have you ever heard the song Vinny, um, by Vinnie Paz, um, End of Days? Listen to it. It is so true. It is so true. I'll read the. I'll have to read the lyrics to you. Hang on. I'll read the lyrics to you. All right. The greatest form of control is where you think you're free, but you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch them. The other one is sitting in a prison cell, but you can't see the bars, but you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We're being hypnotised by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We're in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick, sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. Okay, and then like it's just um, we all know it's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit. What happened to the home of the brave? These other fuckers, they're controlling us now, but no one's talking about it. Made us modern day slaves. Everybody's just walking around, head in the clouds, but we won't awake until we're dead in the grave. By then, it's too late. We need to be ready to raise up. Welcome to the end of days. Everybody is enslaved. Only some are aware that the government releasing poison in the air. That's the reason I collect so many guns in my lair. I never thought I ain't never. I ain't never caught slipping underprepared. The shade and army, they display it proudly. George Bush, the grandson of Alistair Crowley. They want you to believe the lie that the enemy is Saudi. The enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me. There's fluoride in the water, but nobody knows that. It's also a prominent ingredient in Prozac. How many, how could the government bestow that? Uh, proud people believe in political throwback. It's not all that I'm here to present you. I know about the Black Pope and the Solomon's Temple, about the Vatican assassins and how they will get you and how they climb Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. And then there's, yeah, it just goes on about polio vaccine and how it made everybody sick. It's the same thing. It's crazy. It's so, and I listen, I listened to that seven years ago, that song, and I'm thinking, like, I was so plugged into the Matrix, it wasn't even funny. I'm like, yeah, right, that's so not the case. It is so the case. It's not even funny. Yeah. You gotta break down the work, no work because as a farmer, you know, you can't skip a day or animals. And no, no, no. I mean, like people that are, um, you know, just working for all the companies for electricity and all that kind of farmers and looking after your animals is not the same thing. What I mean is that, like, we shouldn't have to work, is that people should be totally self sufficient. Like, people don't have to work for a, a, a dollar. Do you know what I mean? People are just gonna do it. I, I don't know the entire entirety of it, but we should not have to be slaves. They have, in, they have drilled that into us for hundreds or a couple of hundred years to the point we're gonna think, well, what, what is, what why do what, what what what's life going to be like without work people are so let me tell you something i have not worked in 10 years not 10 years and instinctively i i, I can't do it like I, I i can't keep a job i've tried i can't keep a job and it's yeah when i had my son seven years ago and he's he's on the, he's on the spectrum i've had to take care of him so that's been a majority of my employment but it just doesn't feel right people shouldn't have to sit there or go to work for eight hours a day, come home, spend fuck all time with their families at home, sleep for six to eight hours, and back all they spend a majority of their life at work. One of the AI, um, one of the AI robots who was trying to do work or got programmed to, to do factory warehousing or whatever, which mind you is the simplest type of work that anyone can do, it's self-destructed within 15 minutes. She's right. That's why I kept quiet. Thank you, mate. I think this is the first time they ever met you. Yeah, Brianna's been uh, MIA. She had a few things. Uh, she was not feeling good, and she had a few things she had to take care of the past few weeks, ladies and gentlemen, and she is back. So, yeah, this is a regular time every week. So, yeah, she's not new. Mm -mm. Nope. So, I'm glad you love her. I think the world of her. Yeah. Crazy wit. Can you give me your Instagram? Yeah, you can type, can't you, uh, on this comment board? No, I can't. I can't. But I'll type it to you, and you can put it in the chat. Yeah, I will copy and paste it, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to send it to me. So, yeah, this is my TikTok. And uh, she can send me PMs uh, which you all can't see. So, uh, let me see here. I'm gonna, sure get off. I'm gonna have to jet off in a little bit because my little sons, my, my little ones, needing my attention. <laughs> All right, let me put this on here real quick. 
And stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go back to the comments. And uh, let's see here. Hey there, Luna. Welcome to the show. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. And there's her uh, TikTok account. Did it click? Did it go? I didn't see it. Yeah. There it is. All right, stand by. We're going to take this commercial break really quick here. And here we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Grizzly on the Hunt with Psychic Brianna Wilson. We call her Bree. This edition is brought to you by Western Bigfoot Investigators, LLC. Thank you, Don. Greatly appreciate it. Make sure and check Bree out on her Instagram. Yes. Follow her. Yeah, she's right. got some good energy. It's TikTok. So, absolutely. I don't really use What did Instagram. I say? I'm Instagram. in TikTok. You know, see, I get so excited. I can't even, I, I get tongue tied. So, yes. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will let her go so she can tend to her duties and everything. But next Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, we will return. So, make sure and come back and check in with us live with Bree. And we'll go from there. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Bree. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, ship, should we run? <laughs> no. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, shit. should we run? <laughs> okay. It's a grizzly. Are you sure it's not a chipmunk? <laughs> No, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a grizzly. Oh, I'm out of here. Huh. Maybe it is a chipmunk. <gasps> it's a grizzly. Are we gonna die? I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and listen and watch. Let's get out of here, maybe. 
Fall! <laughs>